what you're looking at are angelfish eggs that have hatched. You can see the tiny little black eye spot and the little tail wiggling back and forth. These little wrigglers need to stay attached to their egg area for the next about a week. Um, they'll be eating the yolk of the egg and that's their nourishment as they're growing. While they're here, they're at, they actually were laid on a heater which seems to be working, but while they're growing, the father and mother angelfish, that's the mother, the gold one, father's the black and gold, they stay close by and they chase off the other fish and fan the babies and make sure they're taken care of. For some perspective on the size of these fish, here is my hand, my beautiful Hello Kitty band-aid. The father is about the size of my hand, from dorsal to pectoral fin. He's a big guy. The mother is a little smaller. This is their first successful spawning. The first few didn't, didn't produce any babies, so apparently they figured a few things out. You see how they're becoming very territorial, chasing other fish away actually going to be putting those into our 29 gallon most of the other fish in there later on today for their own safety and for the fry's safety These angels are about two years old. I've had them for about a year and a half. And they really don't view me as a threat. They know I'm the person who brings the food, so if anything, they're wondering why I'm not dropping something in the tank at this point. But they were just fed, so they're doing okay. As the babies fall or get loosened up, the mother and father will actually catch them in their mouths, collect them there, and then spit them back out, which be back with their siblings, and put them back where they wanted them in the first place. So far, these two are being pretty good parents when it comes to defending their fry and making sure they don't fall down and get hurt. <laughs> 